Hello friends, it's Shari and today I'm making a fun mini album with a camping theme. So the photographs you're going to see in this project is my family. We've been camping every summer since 1993 and I thought it would be fun to show you a different way to use the forest backdrop to create a frame for some pictures. So I picked out a few pictures and I printed them out on my printer. And then I have some thin cardstock that I've cut to six inches by four and a quarter. So the four and a quarter is going to be the same height as our die. The six inches is a little bit wider and it's going to give us an edge for some binding or the way to attach our pictures together, our pages together. I'm going to cut my frame all from the same piece of Watercolor Wishes rainbow pattern paper. This is a 12 by 12 sheet that I've just cut down the center so it's six inches. And then because of the way the colors are on this sheet, I can get four different looks of my frames for my four different pictures. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive onto the back of this and then I'm going to center it up with my picture. And you can see from before, my picture was a little off center, and this just frames it up so nicely. I'm going to do this for all four of these. Just adding a little bit of adhesive, and I can add more once I get this set in place. And this picture happened to be last year, so you can see we have quite a big group. It has grown a lot over the years as we've gotten older and married and had kids. Now this one is going to have a little bit of the picture not in the frame. I'm going to have a little bit of a void just because of the way it was centered. But as we decorate these pages, you're going to see how I'm going to fix that. I've got my fourth picture. You'll also see I'm going to have the same problem at the top, but I will show you how we fix that. So you can see my hand through there so my picture doesn't quite go as far as I need it to on that left side. But I'm going to cover that up with a die cut birch tree when I get around to decorating my pages. And then I'm just going to cut the excess off the top. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's hidden by that frame, so it doesn't really matter. And all these are going to go onto my chipboard pieces as well. So you can see this is the one where it was a little too close to the top. When I centered it up at the top, it cut off my dad's head, which he's the one on the right there. So what I decided to do was leave that void at the top and I'm going to come up with a creative way to cover up that top part where we have the edge of the picture. And then I'm just trimming off that excess with my scissors. So now that I've got all four of those in their frames, I can start to decorate them. So you can see here I've got all four of them. They look slightly different because they were all cut from a large piece of that Watercolor Wishes rainbow paper. And then I'm taking some scraps from my six by six pad, and I'm just adhering those to the far left side of my cardstock piece that I created earlier. And this is going to be where the holes are that are punched and the rings go to hold all this together. Now I'm using some liquid glue on the outside edges just for a really nice seal and then I put some tape runner on the inside. I just feel like liquid glue holds a lot better than the tape runner and so that's why I want to make sure the edges are nice and glued down. So I've centered this up, lined it up with the edges of my cardstock piece and then I can just trim off the excess of this little strip to the left. So I've gone ahead and I'm going to put all those onto my cardstock pieces and I'm changing up the colors that I use on the far left. So you can see I use sort of the orangey color scraps that I had on that one page. And for this one, I'm going to use the yellow. And these are just scraps that I had from another project, but you really only need a half an inch by four and a quarter to fill this gap. So on this page, I'm just using tape runner and no liquid glue, so just use whatever you have. What I did find was that the liquid glue kind of 
created some bubbles behind my picture so I did only use that on the edges when putting these down. I think it was just the way it reacted to the photo paper. And you can see this is how I'm going to cover up that gap that was on the left side of my picture. So now that I have them all onto their cardboard pieces or their chipboard pieces, I can start to decorate my frames. So I've cut a bunch of trees out of the Watercolor Wishes rainbow paper pack. And then I've cut a coordinating darker cardstock for the back tree. And I'm just going ahead and assembling all my trees. So I use Noble Fur cardstock for the back of my green trees. I have some pink ones here that I use some guava cardstock for the back of. And I'm not going to use all of the same color tree on each page. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Some will have all the same color, some will have different colors. And then for the blue ones here, I just used some of my leftover paper from where I cut out the frames because I had those inside pieces left over, which is perfect for these little details. And then I'm just backing those with some Rainforest cardstock. So I have four sets of trees. I have two green, one pink, and one blue. And I like the idea of the decoration of each of these pages is similar, but different with different colors and a few different details. So I've cut the birch trees from some chocolate bar cardstock. And I'm using this one to cover up that gap that I had on the left side of my picture. And then I can layer my pine trees over top of it. So you can see on this one, I decided to mix the large blue trees with the smaller green trees. And then since these are so thick layered together, what I started doing on all the other ones was adding a tiny little piece of cardstock where the tree overhangs onto the paper. And that kind of brings the surface up a little bit so that the little tree is nice and flat on both sides. So I'm going to continue on with the same sort of decoration on all of the pages. So to make it match where I covered up the gap on that other page, I'm putting some birch trees on my other ones as well. And you can see that I'm sort of varying it. This one is more in the picture. I'm gonna have some on the right side as well. And then I'm doing the same thing with the trees at the bottom on this one. I'm adding that little piece of cardstock so that the smaller tree sits on that thick cardstock of the big tree and then it has a little bit of support on that edge that overhangs. So you can see on this one, I kept all the pink trees on the same panel, but because they're all cut from that watercolor wishes paper, they are not all exactly the same color. These little ones have a slightly different pink tone than the larger ones, just based on the portion of the paper where I cut them from. So onto this one, I'm going to put this tree on the right side. I'm just trimming it off so that I can get it exactly where I want it. I liked having those little branches that stick out as part of the detail that you see. So I just trimmed it off a little bit so the bottom can be hidden behind this pine tree as well. And then this one I'm going to keep to all green trees. I thought it went really well with the people in the picture wearing the green t-shirts. It kind of brought that out. We have a lot of pink and a lot of red shirts in this picture. Not as many green ones. So I thought the green trees went really well to bring out that green. Again, I'm adding that little piece of cardstock so that the small trees have that support on the part that overhangs. And then for the last one, I'm going to put that tree on the right side as well. So when you look at my pages, I have different thicknesses of those birch trees and I've placed them in different places. So you still have the same elements, but there's a little bit of variety in their placement and what's happening. So 
So now that all my little trees are decorated on all of them, I'm going to add a few more elements to each of them. So on this one, I need to cover up the gap that's at the top of my picture. And what I thought I would do is add a little sentiment banner at the top. And I'm going to put two different sentiments. One is on this page, I'm gonna put another one on the other. So they're kind of a continuation of each other. And the stamps for this sentiment come from the Reveal Wheel Sentiments and the Long Distance Hug stamp sets. And I'm just curving it to match my little banner here that's cut from some speckled eggshell cardstock. And this is just going to say, and lots of smiles, which I thought went really well with this picture because we have all three of the guys smiling here with their musical instruments. And then I'm going to trim off the little fishtail on that side. So I'm just marking it with my pencil. I'm going to trim that off so that it lines up with the edge of my frame. And then that's going to perfectly cover up this gap that's at the top. So I've just used a little bit of liquid glue and added that to the top of mine. And then I'm going to embellish this just a little bit more. I'm using the lantern die cut from the Build a Campsite die set. I've cut that solid piece at the back, that's the flame, from some orange glitter cardstock. I've cut the inside of the lantern from some yellow sunflower cardstock. And then I'll layer this behind that black lantern body that you see there. And I just like to use my tweezers to kind of press this together and hold it in place so that glue dries a little bit. And then I've just got some black thread that I've quadrupled up to make it look like this is going to be hanging from the top of my page. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue to the back of that lantern. I'll pull that thread around to the back and I'm going to add a dot of glue here and just tap it with my fingers so it's nice and flat. And then I will just use my tweezers since these are locking tweezers and it will just hold that thread in place until the glue dries. So now to work on the back pieces, I've taken another 12 by 12 sheet of that Watercolor Wishes rainbow paper, but I'm gonna use the polka dot side for the backs of my pages. Again, I'm using a combination of liquid glue and adhesive runner just to make sure everything's nice and stuck down. So these pieces are cut to six inches wide, by four and a quarter, so they're gonna completely cover the backs. And for now, I'm not really gonna decorate these much except for the last one, but this is a fun place to go back to and you could add some journaling if you wanted. I'll probably go back and add some images and maybe write the years for my pictures so that I know when the pictures were taken. And then I wanted to add some more decoration to some of these pages, so I'm using the little camp sign that's from the Build a Campsite die set. And I've just cut that from some light brown wood grain cardstock for the sign. And then I cut the letters from some black cardstock. And for this one, instead of using the negative and layering a piece behind it, I just decided to glue my letters right onto the sign. So that's what I'm doing here. Sorry for my head. <laughs> this is me trying to get stuff lined up, making sure that my glue is nice and cleaned up on these tiny little letters. But when you do it this way, you don't have to worry about putting the inside pieces to the A and the P in. So that's why I did it this way this time. And I thought that this would look really good on, this is my first page of the album. And then to revisit the sentiment that I had earlier, I thought this campfire and s'mores and then the other side says and lots of smiles went really well together. So I'm stamping that onto wavy banners so it matches the other page. This sentiment is from the s'more the merrier stamp set and then I just added the three little dots so that they go together and they are a continuation of each other. And then this one I'm gonna have come from the right side. The other one comes from the left side. So that gave it some nice balance. And it also helps cover up kind of that really dark background above all of our heads, which are the trees. But when you put it in this frame, it just looks like a dark void. So that kind of helped balance things out nicely. And then of course, I'm gonna add the little mushrooms from the forest backdrop die set. I've cut the 
back bases from some speckled eggshell and then I've cut the tops from some of that leftover pink watercolor wishes. And I'm just assembling those and I'm going to add these just to a couple of the pages. I'm going to add it to the ones here that have the green trees because I didn't feel like the pink mushrooms um, went with the pink trees. It's just a little bit too much pink. And this is just me trying to figure out exactly where I want them, which I just ended up putting them out to the side so they didn't cover my picture too much. And then to bring in some color with the pink trees, there's a dye in there that cuts out these little tufts of grass. And so I thought the little green grass worked perfectly with my pink trees. Just to add some more color, this one we're all wearing white t-shirts it seems like, and so there's not a lot of color in this picture. And then to balance out the top, I added a little white cloud from the Spring Showers die set. And then also to add some more interest and fill in kind of those blank colorful spaces, I'm using the little stars from the Forest Backdrop die set and I just cut those from some sunflower cardstock. So I'm just sprinkling those around And I like how they can kind of come into the picture as well and fit nicely. I'm going to add some to this page too. And then as I made a comment before, I'm going to decorate the back. And the reason being is I liked the colors of this leftover piece of the paper with the polka dots. And so I need to cover up the bottom. But this is going to be the back of my album as far as I'm concerned. And so it's nice to decorate that as well. So I'm just using the mountain border die and I've cut some from purple and I've cut some from blue watercolor wishes rainbow paper. I'm just layering them together. And I'm just gonna put that right across the bottom to cover up that edge that's not covered by my pattern paper. And I also thought it would be nice to have that little binding as well. So I've got a little strip that's half inch wide to match the binding on the inside. So I'm putting that down first before I put my mountains. So it's just gonna disappear behind my mountains. So the back of this album with these mountains might be a fun place to add some more details about the album, like who it was made by. And then to put these together, I'm just going to mark where I want to punch a hole a half inch in and centered on that little half inch binding piece that I've made there. I'm just using a small hole punch. And then once I have the first one punched, I can line these up and I'll just mark where the holes need to be on every sheet. And that way, when this is all together, they stack perfectly. I'm just using these loose binder rings to put everything together. And that way you can easily modify this album just by taking pages in and out. These happen to be three quarters and I actually like these Tim Holtz ones because there's different colors and I like this kind of dark bronzy color. And those just hinge open and we can feed it through all the pages. Now I didn't make a cover for this album, but I am going to do that as a second video. And we're going to decorate that for the Cousins Camping. So stay tuned for a video in the future for that cover. But for now we have these fun four pages with that forest backdrop frame and I like how it makes it look consistent through all these different years of photographs that I have. So I hope that this little project has inspired you to maybe use your forest backdrop dies a little bit differently and create a fun mini album. Thanks so much for joining me and my family as I created this album and I hope that you will keep a lookout for a future video in which I make a cover to go with it as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.